What's going on you guys? Welcome back to another video. Welcome back to an After Effects tutorial. I haven't done one of these in ages, so let's just get into it because this is exciting. This is based on the thumbnail of two videos ago. And yeah, I basically, the thumbnail was like me lifting, like levitating things. So I thought, why don't I just try and make that in video so i basically just you know try and, and figure it out how to do it and it turns out it's not that hard so i hope you enjoy it and if you do so let me know below let's uh let's get into what we need to shoot first because first obviously we have to shoot so let me show you what we need to shoot this all right so we got our tape uh i use black tape duct tape, uh, trickle tape, whatever you want to call it. And then we have some uh, green green screens. Uh, and then the idea is basically me going just below there. So I'm gonna have like a black background. I'm gonna stand into it. I wanna have a different look uh, myself. So I wanna have like a, a full on shot and then like a side shot. The side shot is gonna be only for my eyes because I want my eyes to like glow blue for a second. Uh, and then the front shot, and it's gonna be me lifting, obviously nothing. And then the other shot is gonna be taping this to, to a chair, leave the chair on the bedroom, and just throw an object and record that in 120 frames per second. And that will mean I can have a lot more frames to play around with. And then just, uh, you know, go in uh, After Effects and do the rest. Once you get your green screen all set up, like you see behind me, it's uh, time to shoot. I already shot all my other shots for the um, first part that you didn't see because I was recording with this camera. And now we're gonna shoot all the green screen stuff. I'm gonna use, I'm gonna use this thing, which is like a box, uh, drone battery, my phone, uh, like a lens cap and a ring. These are all the things that I'm gonna lift make levitate really important thing try and light the scene the same way as it was lit the scene before because that's the most important thing if you do any green screen ever always try and light the scene as best as possible one because of keying because it's so much easier to key something that is well lit and two because it fits better in the scene so i'm going to do that and also try and step up your shutter speed like instead of double your frame rate so instead of 250, if I'm shooting 120 frames per second, I'm gonna keep it probably at 350 because I don't want that much motion blur in the scene. And with motion blur, it's not that easy to mask things out, uh, especially with keying and green screen. So yeah, remember that. Step up your shutter speed and that's it. That's, um, that's the gorgeous thing. All right, here we are in the post-production, import everything and just create a composition. I create by 9 by 16 because that's what I want. Then I'm just going to cut off all the things that I want to cut off. Pretty easy. And this is my second angle, as you can see. I'm just playing around and, you know, just create the perfect composition and the perfect sequence. And, uh, you know, yeah, as you can see. Then uh, I'm just gonna import all of the files and just uh, cut off basically where the um, item is leaving my hand uh, on the green screen. So pretty easy, just cut off everything and then uh, mask. Make sure the mask follow the object and then uh, just add a key lighting and then we're just gonna perfection it. I like to add this uh, color as you can see in the background, like this um, cyan, really intense color, because it helps me to just, you know, have the perfect key. So you do the same for all the objects and you have something that looks like this. And then we're gonna basically just uh, animate every object and uh, just keyframe it. And then we're gonna add a freeze frame after the first frame we're just gonna play around with first framing and basically 
uh, duplicate the file and um, keep the freeze frame and then duplicate it again the first file so it doesn't have a freeze frame and um, yeah basically you have the object that goes up and then it stays there and then it goes down basically you do that for everything and then I like to pre-compose everything just to keep it more organized Once that's all done, you're gonna ask, well, now it just looks like, you know, the object goes up and that's it. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna fix that in the graph editor, adding a smooth transition in and out. And then we're gonna add some wiggle and the wiggle basically looks like the actual levitating. These are my settings for the wiggle effect. Uh, you can use whatever and play around with whatever you want, but I like this one, so this is what I'm using. Once that's done, you have something that looks like this next thing to do is uh, add my eye effect and i do that using saber saber is a free plugin for after effects from video copilot we just add it to a solid color and then in this case i'm going to mask it on my eye and just play around keyframe the mask so it follows my eye as you can see and i'm just going to play around with the with the colors just to understand like what works better and uh, you know opacity and everything like that you can play around with it i i kind of know what i want already so it's, it's kind of easy next i'm masking a little bit of my eye out just to make that effect looks a bit more realistic and uh, fixing the keyframes a little bit more like so i like that that's nice once it's done, you basically do the same for the second eye, which is gonna be just next to it. Uh, so we do the same for the second one, and we're gonna track it, and the second one, we're gonna add some blur, because um, obviously my second eye is not on focus. Second thing, I got this uh, stop, kind of like particles from um, Motion Array, which is a, a service that I'm subscribed to, and I'm just gonna animate it in, so you see basically the particle coming up, same way as they come up with uh, you know with everything else and uh, we're gonna graph edit that nice and smooth we're gonna add some motion blur looks good looks really good to me and uh, yeah that looks really realistic already I really like that next thing we're gonna do is adding the same eye effect but to where I'm holding the thing up so that's pretty easy because I'm basically still so we're just gonna track that again and have the same in and out kind of thing Next thing, we basically just gonna color grade the whole image. So we're gonna add a lumetri color effect and I'm gonna inform my lot and I'm gonna do the color grading right now. Once I'm happy with the colors and color grading, it's gonna look something like that. So we're almost there. There's a uh, few things that I wanna check. First of all, I like to, as I said, pre-compose everything. And then I wanna add a little bit of like a warp around the edges. So I did that with a warp effect and just a quick mask around it. I don't really wanna affect anything else aside from the actual corners. So I just play around with that until I'm happy with it. And, and the next thing, we're gonna duplicate it three times and add the shift channel effect. Then uh, we do that basically to add a bit of dimension and uh, a bit of like RGB split effect. As you can see, make sure the red is on top. Then decided to get this uh, lighting effect from the same source and uh, you know just add it between my hands because it looks cool. So I'm just gonna do that and uh, fix it a little bit so it doesn't look too bad. Let's put it on screen and let's cut off the frames where you can clearly see the, you know, the size and stuff. So once that up, that's all done, I'm gonna pre-compose it, screen it, and this is what it looks like looks perfect to me to be honest a little bit of uh, lumetri color to make it match my eye color and uh, this is about it to be honest uh, you can uh, you can play around with uh, more if you want but I'm pretty happy with this it's... what's going on you guys yep this changed I'm actually in Sydney right now in the hotel as you can see and um, should be flying to Bali in three days actually when you see this I should be to my tomorrow so I hope you like this video hope you like this tutorial uh, it was something that I just wanted to do that's it I use it for my reel on Instagram pretty easy nothing um, you know just follow along kind of basics intermediate intermediate after effects so yeah leave a like if you like it leave a subscribe if you subscribe hmm? leave a like subscribe comment down below and uh, see you guys next time in Bali <laughs>